Hey guys, me here again. Um, today I have a video of where I'm going to compare two screen recording um, applications, and they are ScreenFlow right here and CamTwist. Now, Cam, um, ScreenFlow is a great application for recording. I mean, one, it's got high quality, um, always records in a clear picture. Uh, two, uh, I can always just, it's like easier to like start recording instead of like doing all this stuff that I'll show you what you have to do for cam twist in order to set up a screen capture. Uh, cause um, right here, when I have a screen flow open, well, I can just click this camera, I can press stop recording right now or begin recording. And also what I like about screen flow is I can set up effects like right here, like for my mouse, if I ever had that, like it'll show my mouse pointer of me clicking anything. Um, also, what I can have where it's CC is where it says click effect. I can, well actually, um, like it'll show me like if I want a circle to pop up when I click, but with the keyboard, like like the things I've showed you in my Final Cut videos, uh, well I haven't yet, but like what I showed you in this one other video where I press like the command M like to, I don't know, like to do um, like maybe quit an application which would be command Q, but I'm not going to press it now because it would quit out screen flow. But anyway, um, what you uh, what else is better is I can have a mini screen, not a screen capture, um, a camera shot of me while I'm recording, like I showed you in my photo booth video. And now we'll switch over to screen flow. I mean, um, cam twist. My bad. And I'll show you what's not so great about it, and uh, why you should try to save it for screen, uh, screen flow. Now the bad thing about ScreenFlow is you gotta buy it, and it costs eighty dollars. Unfortunately, because it's probably one of the best screen recording uh, um, applications out there for Mac. I don't know any others. I know there's I Show You and everything, but that didn't work too well. And especially CamTwist. I mean, I Show You is better than CamTwist, and it's free. But uh, ScreenFlow just has overall better um, features on it. So now let's switch over to uh, CamTwist. All right, now here is uh, how um, screen uh, cam twist works. Now, in order to set this up, you got to download it, and there's videos on how to do that. And always make sure it's open in case you're going to use this. In case you can't get um, uh, screen flow right away, you can click on it. You can add effects like brightness, battle lay, but I'm not going to apply it right now. You have to apply it. There's cubes and all that other stuff and the iTunes song that's playing but that doesn't really matter because like screen flow like I showed you with the keys you can have but uh, in order to detect cam twist uh, right after when you have it open before you open up iMovie go right down here and you'll see this little camera right here see you can have built in eyesight or cam twist so built in eyesight which means you capture a video of you yourself or cam twist right now is what I'm using to record now cam twist is a little bit laggy uh, I don't know, um, doesn't have like as a clear picture as ScreenFlow does, and yeah, so CamTwist is just kind of overall bad, and uh, yeah, so if you want a good screen capture, I suggest you getting ScreenFlow. So that was just a quick thing of how I was showing you what you should get for your screen capture. So I hope this helped, and uh, hopefully you have enough for ScreenFlow. If not, you'll have to use CamTwist for now, but um, yeah. Uh, if you have any t tutorial requests, uh, I'll be happy to make one. Uh, see you guys later.